Hi, it's Chris Parvin with MB Court. Today we're just going to spend a little time on the antenna installation for the Ranger. It's very important for the Ranger to get proper ground and proper radio reception. You need to follow the owner's manual. Take a look at some of the critical components that you're going to be installing. This is a brand new source unit for the 2018 machines. This is newer and more upgraded than the previous Ranger system and any of the Razor systems. When you add non-audio components like a wench or a snowplow, those components are never validated for noise through the stereo system. Therefore, their electronics will cause interference with the audio electronics and radio reception. Our certified Polaris installers are Cole and Lynn. They're going to be doing the installation today. Let's get started. Next, we're going to install the AM FM antenna. This process is very important for the reception of your radio. First, we're going to mark two holes on the top of the fender for the alignment pin and the antenna mounting post, both located on the antenna base. The exact location is not critical. However, if the mass tilt functionality is desired, ensure that the location allows the desired tilt and that the ground strap can reach chassis ground shown clearly in the manual. You're going to drill two holes. 3 16 or a 5 millimeter hole for the alignment pin and a half inch or a 12 millimeter hole for the mounting post. It's important that you control the drill depth to prevent damage to anything underlying the structure or other components. We have engineered every piece of this system, including the length of the wires and the harnesses, to measure between where the units are mounted and where the antenna is installed. Okay, now we're going to insert the threaded post and the alignment pin located in the antenna base into the holes we just drilled. Now it's very important as we go to secure the antenna cable to the antenna base, it goes from the antenna to the braided cable, then to the antenna wire that has the hoop on it, and then the nut. That braided cable has to be between the antenna and the base, and then the nut holds everything together or you will not get the optimal FM reception. Insert the threaded post and the alignment pin of the antenna base through the drilled holes. Now you can attach the ground strap on the inside of the fender. You're gonna secure it with the steel nut and install the rubber boot. The grounding strap is not an option. It is critical in a machine that does not have a big heavy metal frame like a car. The ground is essential. Now we're gonna take that cable over to the ground strap and we wanna make sure that the braided cable sits on top of the ground strap and then we're going to use our socket wrench to tighten that down and make it real snug. Now we're going to terminate the braided ground strap to the ground post. Use your 10 millimeter socket to pull that out and put the braided strap on top of the ground, then the nut. That makes a nice secure connection. If your antenna mast was not already pre-installed on the base, now go ahead and thread that mast into the base and just make it finger tight, but you want it nice and tight. There's a lot of upgrades that you can make to these systems. Check the Polaris website or watch all of our videos to see which amplifiers and speakers can be added to each system to give you more music, more power, and more sound.